What's up everyone? Want to know how to make the most money from your photos? I'm going to go over all the ways that you can make money from your photo evidence. If it's your first time here, I put out gaming updates and tips each and every single week. So hit that subscribe button down below so you can be the first to know when I put out a new video. Let's get into it. As most of you know, not all photos taken with the camera will show up as some form of evidence. But the ones that will result in money can be broken down into seven categories. First category is just ghost evidence. It can simply be done by snapping a photo of the ghost or its shadow when it appears. Second are fingerprints and footprints. These can only be seen by the player if they have a UV light or glow stick. Some prints may be out of reach and will require someone else holding the light while you take the photo. Keep in mind footprints are easiest to see after the house has been sprinkled with salt. Prints are also a vital part of identifying a ghost if you come across them. Third category is dirty water. This is accomplished by irritating the ghost long enough to turn on one of the faucets in the house. You should be able to hear the faucet on if nearby. Be careful though because you could be asking for a hunt to take place. Fourth, we have the Ouija board and voodoo doll. In both both the Ouija board and voodoo doll will sometimes appear on a map as a sign of a ghost presence. The Ouija board actually has about a 33.3 chance to spawn, so you won't always find one around, nor will you always find the voodoo doll, but it's not currently known how often the voodoo doll spawns. If you want to know more about the Ouija board and every question you can ask it, check out the link above when you're finished. Fifth category is interactions. So once you've gotten started on your mission, the ghost will sometimes become very active and start to interact with the environment, doing things like opening and closing doors turning off lights, turning on radio, or making the phone ring, and if you happen to snap a photo of any of those, including the phone ringing, you will get evidence. Sixth is the corpse category, and pretty simple like the ghost, you just need to take a picture of the body after someone has been killed by the ghost. Last but not least, the seventh category is just the bone category, and unlike the Ouija board and the voodoo doll, the bone can be found on every contract you do, and it's as simple as finding it, picking it up, and snapping a quick photo. Do you need any help with any equipment? Check out the playlist above. I really hope this video helped you out in some way. If it did, make sure to hit the like button down below. As always, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.